For example, we now know that environmental risks can impact babies even before they're born. But until now, we haven't had a comprehensive guide about these risks and how to reduce them. Enter Dr. Sheila Sathya Naraina, a pediatric environmental health specialist. The study that we're working on whose research helped identify several important substances for women to avoid if they're pregnant or planning to be. On the no-no list, lead, a known neurotoxin. For lead specifically, you should avoid being around older homes that are being renovated or where there's active construction because the dust from the white paint can have high lead concentrations. Mercury is dangerous as well. The recommendation, properly dispose of old thermometers. Avoid eating high mercury fish like tuna. Exposure during pregnancy can lead to limb defects. It can also lead to neurocognitive defects and defects in, in brain development. Number three, pesticides. They're not just harmful to pests. Pesticides are definitely known neurotoxins and they can be toxic to the developing fetus and cause neurodevelopmental effects as well. And so for pesticides, we really recommend that you don't handle any pesticides, whether inside or outside the home. Don't handle chemical tick or flea collars. Buy organic produce when possible, plus avoid certain plastics with chemicals associated with reproductive abnormalities. Plastics number three and number seven, so if you just look at the recycling code on the bottom of your plastics, number three can contain phthalates and number seven can contain bisphenol A. And so those are plastics you can just choose to avoid. Look for BPA-free on plastics as well. That's a lot to process, but Dr. Sathya Naraina hopes this latest research will be used by both healthcare providers and expectant parents to give babies a healthy start. So there truly are ways to reduce exposures that have been proven to be effective. And, and that's the message I'd like to get out to both providers and patients, is that there is good information out there, but you need to know where to find it.